Oh, what's up YouTube? How's it going? I'm back for another random video. I'm going to talk to you guys about how to love your job. I get this so often. I go into work and I'm all happy and giggly. Well, for you that hate your job, I'm going to tell you right now. Not so much how to love your job. Because, I mean, who the hell loves their job? Everyone loves money. But not everybody loves their job. Maybe the small few of you that work for themselves or work at home. Can you imagine doing YouTube videos at home? Oh, I love my side job. I get to talk about stuff I like and want, and I get paid for it. But my day-to-day -day job is a, a lot different. Now, when you go to work, you have rules to follow. You have to be there on a certain time. Um, hmm. let's, let's dive into my brain. Um, how do I like my job or in general work? You have to look at it as uh, what were you doing before this job? Is it, a, is it an upgrade? Is it a downgrade? If, if it's an upgrade, then you're making more money. Oh, I'm making more money, but I'm more miserable because the hours are longer or the work is harder. All right, so go somewhere else if you don't like it. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to help you get through this. Or you can think positive because you're in control of your thoughts and you're in control of what you say. So how about you think positive about your job, save up for something, or buy something nice. Buy something nice, treat yourself, um, you know, oh, I'm in debt, or I gotta pay child support or the rent's too much. I mean, okay, that's your life. That is not your job. You have to come into work with a positive attitude because you, you're working for someone else, obviously, but you're working for yourself at the same time. You're building skill, you're getting money. You know, maybe you're, you're staying in shape at your job. You like going to work because you have to do a lot of fitness. I do garbage and recycling, so it keeps me in shape. Plus I find stuff. Cool, and I work alone. Think of the pros. Think of the pros. Why wouldn't you not be happy coming to work? You have to see these people every day. So you see that one person that's always grumpy and angry. Okay, well, keep your distance away from him because clearly he's a negative effect in the room. Um, don't it's just like going to school. You don't associate with the people that bring you down or, you know, are negative all the time. Just stay away from them. Think positive. Be positive. Because the way you act is the way people are going to act towards you. And I always look at it like this. You never know in life when you might need a favor. You might piss someone off at work and then you end up having to work with them and have to be pretend and all fake. And, and that person might end up saving your job or your life or, you know, giving you the biggest tip at work ever to help you get through your day a lot easier and just totally change your attitude around. But if you're going into work miserable, um, you know, always calling in sick, that, that just looks, it's frowned upon it. It's not good, it's bad. I, you know, any job I've ever had, I've always tried to think positive. And if it doesn't work out, then you leave and you go somewhere else. It's like a relationship. If the relationship sucks, get the hell out. If the job's not doing it for you, and it's just, you're just there for the money, or you want to experience something different, then go somewhere else. I mean, you're in control of your own life. It's not so much the job. You don't know about the job until you actually work it. You might. No, you might have the qualifications or you might know a little bit about it from friends or oh I've done this line of work then you get to it and you're like oh, I don't like it anymore or oh yeah it, was, it turned out to be a good job but how I stay positive is um, I just think of all the good things that come out of it and you know honestly you think about oh it's almost lunch time or oh it's almost time to go home anything and everything to stay positive you're living in your body you're in control of your brain I mean, don't be a Debbie Downer and don't always be negative. You have to think positive. I believe in, um, what's that word? I always forget it. But if you're good to the universe, the universe is good to you. It sounds kind of stupid. I watch a lot of videos like that, but I believe in it. I think if, you're, if you put out good, you're going to receive good. If you put out negative, you're going to receive negative. And I feel like it's like that for everything in life, not just work or people. Um, just your own life in general, really. <clears throat> so, yeah, think positive. Um, even if you have to pretend. Even if you have to pretend to be nice, you know what I mean? Or that person pissed you off. 
realistically, it's it's work. It's just the way, you know, if your boss does something to you or your managers do something to you, maybe once in a blue moon, they're nitpicking you to get your ass in gear. But at the end of the day, it's work. I mean, it has to be done. It's going to be you or it's going to be somebody else. So you can't always be negative thinking that, oh, it's me, 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 blah, blah. I mean, I've been around people like that. And maybe that's just their work ethics and their where they are in their life they're happy with and they're not going anywhere. You know, there's there's leaders and followers. So if you want to be a leader, then lead yourself to success and you know work your way up the ladder at your company and you might eventually get that job that you like. Or you can keep hopping around jobs, hoping to get a break in life, and it may never come. So you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. But in the end, just try to keep it positive, stay happy, you go there every single day. Or maybe you, you're a part-timer, you know. Um, you know, I've had a few bad customer or a few bad experiences. I don't really get rude, period, with people at work because you know I do it too. So I've had those days where I'm like, oh, don't even talk to me. But I've had a few a few um, issues. You know, one time I went to Canadian Tire and I asked the guy to help me get a barbecue because you know there's no barbecues. You got to go to the back and get it from. Me. He's like, hold on a minute, I'm on the phone. And I'm like, holy bud, I honestly went total 360 and I called the Canadian Tire Board or whatever you call it. I called her and I, and their office and I gave him his name. Like that right there instantly pissed me off. You have to be professional. I mean, if you're that grumpy and I do get it. Oh yeah, you might have had a bad day or I work too, like I said, for a living, but those, they're paying customers. You know what I mean? There's no reason to get rude with me when I did nothing to you. I don't even know you. I just asked you a simple question. Because if I didn't ask, how else was I going to get the fucking barbecue? You know what I mean? There's people like that that are, they're just miserable. I mean, if you're having a shitty day, call in sick, don't come to work, take stress leave, take time off, take a personal day. Or you have to come to work because you need the money, blah, 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 this and that. I mean, those are all your issues that you need to be mature and not talk about when you're at work. Because, you know, one, people don't want to hear it. And two, if they don't hear it, they can see it, right? So you kind of have to put a wall up and... and um, you know, be good and I don't know, I sound like a mentor here, but that's just my opinion and my belief in how I stay positive. And I mean, if there's a GoPro on me, people talk to me, people are nice to me, but that's just me in general. That's not just because I come to work to try to be nice. That's just how I am. I like to be a people person. So <clears throat> nice to everybody. And uh, I don't need any more added stress because, you know, work's hard enough as it is and life's stressful, right? So. Just think positive and, and you want the positive to outweigh the negative in any situation. So just reflect on good things like, hey, I'm getting paid soon or I'm going to buy this or I'm going to buy a boat or like work for that stuff. And then when you come to work, you're, you take a minute and you go, you know what? I'm working towards this stuff. This is why I'm here. It's raining outside. I got a flat tire. Ugh. Like you're having one of those days. Just take a second and cool down and just think about all the happy things in your life and where you're at and what it got you. And hopefully that can help. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more random videos if you want some more advice. And, uh, yeah, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about your job and uh, any experiences you want to share with me. I'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.